Another option we have is to build a custom report inside of PCDMIS. So let's look at how we can quickly do that. I'm going to select File, Reporting, New, Custom Report. And when you're building this custom report, you're going to want to have the edit window displaying its contents in summary mode. And what this allows me to do is to select any of the objects in my part program and I can drag and drop them on my report. For instance, I'm going to grab the file header and I'll place it on my report. I can center any of the objects using the toolbar at the top of our screen. In this case, I want to center in the horizontal direction. You can see the green handles around the object that I've just dropped. That's your indication that that, that object is active. The next thing I want to do is build a title for this report. And what I want to do is just quickly summarize the T values in a particular area that I've measured. So I'm just going to locate on the object bar the border tool. I'm going to drop a border in there. And then I'm going to use the text tool. And I'll right click and select properties. And I'll choose a larger font size. And then I'll just adjust the visible text by double clicking on the word text1. If I right mouse button click again on any object and select properties, it will hide the properties page for me. The next thing I want to do is lay down a view of my CAD model. And I can do that with this icon on the object bar, CAD Report Object. And I'll just drag out. And if I double click inside of this object, I can control the position and magnification for this view. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to locate some dimensions in my part program that I want to illustrate. So I'm going to grab location 9 through 14, and I'm simply going to drag them on top of the CAD view. And PCDMIS then builds leader lines to all those features automatically. And then I can just place these labels by dragging with the left mouse button. To finish up, I'll just save this custom report. We'll select File, Save As. I'll select File and Close to exit out of the editor. To use my custom report, we simply go into the Report window and select on the toolbar Custom Report Selection Dialog. And now I have a report that better illustrates the location of these T-values.